Hi everyone, this is Pip Coleman coming in live and yes, this is unusual for me to come in in the night time. I was intending to do this uh, card reading for you during the day, but I just got totally caught up in all the hoo-ha of uh, the lockdown and whether we're going out of lockdown or in into lockdown again, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Victorian government. It's very confusing sometimes. So I thought I'd jump in and now that I've done my beautiful relaxing yoga session with the lovely Andrea tonight, I'm feeling a little bit more calm, a lot more centered. And so it's the perfect time to come in and give you your waning card reading for tonight. Good evening, Clem Kim Claxton. Look at that. That's what happens when you come in in the nighttime instead of in the daytime. And then there's people that you haven't seen in ages. So, hello. <laughs> um, so, our four card reading is whenever we have a waning cycle of the moon, that means that we're moving from the full moon to the new moon. So, it's the two weeks that happen um, when the moon is starting to wane, getting smaller. So our four cards are answering the four questions from the Moonology card deck. Uh, and they are coming from that perspective of what do we need to let go of in readiness for the new moon, which is coming very soon. Um, nice to see you, Kim. So the... Um, the first question is, what do we need to release? So what do we need to release between now and the new moon? I know what I would like to release <laughs> in terms of, you know, being allowed to be free. And I know regional uh, Victoria is going to be allowed to be a little bit more free this week, this next week coming. So that will be nice. And I wish that for everybody in Melbourne as well. So our first card of what we need to release is the energy is gaining momentum. So this card means because it actually came upside down today. So uh, this card came upside down, which means that we are the, the, when we need to release the energy of that building, 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 you know, we know when you get to the point where everything is just more and more and more and more and more heightened. That's what I felt like was happening over this this seven days. Everybody in all the different camps, all the different opinions, everybody was getting more and more and more. You know how the momentum of their their energy just gets more and more every day. It's like a um, an amplification. So over the last week, things have just been getting more and more amplified. And so we need to release that. We need to release that feeling of, bottled up energy like we're going like that <laughs> that's that's my very technical term for <laughs> what's happening at the moment so our the processes that you need to be doing at the moment are all about letting go somehow releasing that bottled up energy that momentum that is gaining that's actually making you feel really really tired because when we when we are in that space of like adrenaline, where we're like, you know, a really, 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 really heightened state, then we will get really tired much quicker. So I know this week I felt much more tired. We also have much more tireder, as my grandpa would have said. Uh, so we have also had Mercury has just gone into retrograde. Saturn, which means that we are in that space of, um, you know, things are slow but what we normally would would have. So, um, sorry if the internet's being a bit weird, by the way. Um, it, there is some strange internet stuff going on too. Thank you, Mercury Retrograde. So, the energy is gaining momentum at the moment, which means we are moving in the direction that we want to move, but we need to make sure we release that bottled up kind of feeling. So, make sure that you get out and move, get out and exercise. Um, move your body, move your mind, shift, do your, do your yoga, um, breathing exercises, do your tapping, the tapping exercises to like shift the energy, dance, get out there and dance. I know there's some people on our wellness community who had started dancing today <laughs> to let go of that pent up energy that's, that's happening. So hi, Heather. Hi, Julie. So our second card for the waning cycle of the moon is what will help me. So what will help you, <laughs> what will help us right now is to look at the bigger picture. So it makes perfect sense that 
when we're getting too caught up in the details, we need to step back and look at the bigger picture, okay? And really tap into what is it that we all want to achieve? What is it that you want to achieve with your life? What is it that you want to contribute to society, to the world, to, um, the, plat to the universe? Um, you know, let's step back and look at the bigger picture, okay? Because sometimes we can get a little bit caught up, can't we, in our little tiny, you know, part of the world, our little tiny, you know, self, and uh, that, that tiny self, that ego self can get just a little bit uh, caught up and, and trip over itself in the process. So right now, what we need to do is, what's gonna help you in this process is to look at the bigger picture. So that is a really important card at the moment. Our third card is what will help us to accept and surrender. Because right now, we really just need to accept and surrender into what's happening. We, there's no point in resisting uh, what's going on at the moment. We need to accept and surrender into the moment. What is, you know, not lamenting what was happening in the past, what used to be, because we're never going to go back to exactly what it was in the past. Even if we try to get it, you know, almost the same, we're never going to be exactly the same as we were in the past in terms of our society, our life, whatever. And the same with the future, you know, we don't know what's going to evolve in the future. So we just need to make sure that we surrender and again, use your tools. I know today I said to one of my clients, I was doing a beautiful tapping exercise to release stress and anxiety because she was really getting quite stressed. And I said to her, oh my God, I need to do this tapping exercise more often myself. And I always find that those of you who are coaches out there will do probably say yes to that that you will be teaching somebody something and you'll go, oh, I really need to listen to this advice myself. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? So uh, what will help you to accept and surrender is to show the world the real you. So this is an interesting card because if you are not showing the world the real you, then it is going to be difficult to accept and surrender because if you're not showing the world the real you, then you're not accepting yourself as you truly are. And that means that we need to um, take a good hard look at what's going on at the moment. So if you're feeling like you're resisting, you're tired, you're getting really you know, frustrated, perhaps resentful, then now's the time to show the world the real you and take a, let the breath out. Breathe out instead of holding your breath because that's um, a good sign. If you are holding your breath and you're having trouble breathing, then that is a good sign that you are resisting and holding yourself in a space of non-authenticity, um, not being authentic. So showing the world the real you is what will help you to accept yourself and situation and surrender to what's going on at the moment that will take away a lot of the pressure and stress but obviously reach out if you need help please feel free to reach out if you need help with any of these these things that I'm talking about and the fourth card is the final outcome of the waning moon is a time of healing a time for healing this beautiful card is just a little reminder that we are in this next week this next week coming up to the new moon, it is a time for healing. And that's wonderful. That's That gives me hope. And I hope that makes you feel the same way too, that that feeling of hope is really important. If we don't have hope, then um, you, can, you can really lose your way in your life. I know, um, you know, anyone who's ever had a, a difficult situation, if you don't have hope that it's going to end, then there, there's a, there, that's when you can go down into the, the depression and, and those sorts of things. So we need to find some way of feeling hopeful and looking at the, the possibilities rather than the things that could go wrong. Okay. So those are your beautiful four cards for the waning cycle of the moon, answering those beautiful four questions. What do we need to release? What will help you? What will help you to accept and surrender and the final outcome? So we had the beautiful energy is gaining momentum card. Make sure that you take care of yourself and don't 
overdo it. Don't get exhausted. Make sure you do all your self-care. Look at the bigger picture, step back. Don't get too caught up in the details. It's really important that you look at the bigger picture right now. And this, if you're in lockdown right now, it does feel like this is the worst thing some people will say. Ooh, <laughs> something weird going on with my television. Anyway, um, so please, um, you know, look at the bigger picture. Show the world the real you. Yeah, that's right, the sun will shine tomorrow, Julie. And this is a time of healing, so really enjoy this time of healing. Take some time to rest and enjoy yourself. And I'm going to go and watch Friends because I guess that's turned on now. <laughs> it's my little cue that I need to go and switch off and enjoy myself and watch some good old-fashioned humour. Have a lovely week. Please take care of yourself. Reach out if you need. And uh, I look forward... <laughs> My house is, you know, the TV's turning on. Oh, my God. Um, I will see you very soon um, next week. Tomorrow morning, I'm on our wellness community doing Find Your Soul show. Um, and we're going to be talking about failing boldly. So if you'd like to join me on our wellness community, that's where I'll be at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now. See ya. <laughs> Thanks for joining me.